Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do a simple thing and today we are going to see how we can create any kind of file. Uh, I would be specific here, uh, I mean how can we create any text file format using Python. So there is a there is an easy and simple solution for that and I will show you how you can do that. But before we work on that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And now let's see what we can do. So uh, I have already prepared few lines of code for you guys. So I have commented them out and let me do one thing. Let me explain them uh, line by line what they mean and what are we doing here. So here if you see that we are creating a txt file but uh, a text data can be in many formats. So uh, one of uh, my subscriber asked me a question that uh, how can we create a DAT file right. So DAT file is again uh, if I google you, you can also google that it is also a file which holds the data and it's an alternative of txt file right. Uh, rather I would be specific txt file specifically works for windows uh, not for every operating system so that that could be one more reason to um, to see one more alternative right so now let's see what we have to do so here if you see uh, what I have done is I have used uh, used one method open and uh, this is the method which is being used to create append write a file right these are the three operation that accumulates creating a file right so if there is no file uh, created yet you have to create that right if the file is already created and if you have to add the data then there are two options do you want to write that means that do you want to overwrite the already written data or do you want to append the data to the already existing one right so there are these two op options so let me do one thing uh, let me cut this out and explain it to you line by line so this is what we have to do to create a file so what i have done is inside our open method we have to provide two things first is the file name so if i just provide the file name dot the extension then it will create in the default directory but in case if I want uh, the file to be created in a specific directory then I have to provide the path that's why I have written C temp right here W means that we are writing or creating the file right so if there is no file already there then Python is going to create it for us right so if I run this I'll show you my temp folder also here if you see that we have a test testing.txt file so I'm just deleting this from here and I'm going to refresh this, refresh it and here you see that there is nothing right so if I run this now so it doesn't display anything but here you can see a blank txt file right and that's good that's really good now let's say if I want to create another file with uh, dat extension right uh, we can also do that simple enough what we have to do is we have to change the ex extension here to DAT save it run it and let's wait for it now if you see that there is a dat file and if you open it you need something uh, supportive so I think you can open it using notepad or notepad plus plus so so yeah so this is what we needed to do right now we have created an empty file what if we have to write the data okay so again uh, like I explained before there are two ways overriding overwriting or appending right so these are the two ways so I'll just copy this line again and paste it here so here what we are doing is write to existing txt file good enough so here again uh, you have an option of w right now when we say overwrite that means that 
every piece of information is going to get lost and the new information will get written so for now what I will do is inside that txt file I'll, I'll write few lines right and I'm saying it uh, saving it and if I double click you can see the data right now what I will do is I'll comment on uh, the lines because uh, sorry uh, because we don't need them right now so I'll just do all three here now what I have to do is I have to write so there is one uh, method to do that which is write uh, it is really obvious obvious right and one thing to notice that you don't have to import anything and this is really good when I compare it with Java so now let's say uh, adding some random data and afterwards I just close this file right now if I run this and open the txt file you can see the previous piece of data has been lost right so this we have to uh, keep in mind what we have to do what is our requirement then only use this uh, w mode right otherwise we have this mode a append here what we will do if I run this again it is going to append but here it is going to append in the same line as you can see so if you want to append in uh, let's say another line new line so you can either do slash n here right or what you can do is before writing the piece of information do like this so if I run this now so we can see the data has been added to the new line right so this is how you can create a file and I'm, be, I'm being here very generic because uh, this is very common like whenever you are going to do any kind of automation if you want to generate a file then you have to create right so this is the way that you should do it and if in case you have to do it for DAT file again uh, you can do it like this so if I open DAT file now I have the data now right so that's good and this is everything that I wanted to show or represent so this is it for this video I hope I was able to teach you something if there is any doubt you can let me know in the comment sec section and I hope that we will meet in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye